recording. Okay. Can you introduce yourself and give a brief description of your background? Background is in what? Like your nationality, where you've come from, where you are now. Okay. Just like where I'm from. Yeah. Hi, this is Princess Blackfish and I'm from Zimbabwe and I grew up in Ireland and now I live in London. I'm a multi-instrumentalist, let's do that again. I'm a multi-instrumentalist, uh, producer, musician, artist, designer as well. What would you say you're learning about yourself right now? One of the things that I'm learning now is to have goals, to do things in order to achieve those goals because it's very easy to come up with ideas and spend time daydreaming when you actually don't do the, the things that you want to do and execute them. That's a problem. How has it been moving to London, the dream versus the reality? Moving to London has been both positive and negative. I think when you're quite young and you're getting to a place that, a, a place that you haven't really prepared for or prepared your mind to be, it's very easy to get lost. Like focus is a really big thing that you just have to have in general if you're trying to chase anything creative or anything that has to be self-motivated. The positives are there's so much more here and uh, so much more opportunity, inspiration around you. There's a lot of platforms. There's a lot of good people like you can make some really great connections and that's what I love about this city. It's always busy. It's a, a place where you learn how to grind and there's the creative side but then there's the business side and a lot of uh, creatives forget that the business side is like slightly a bit more important. Being somewhere like this forces you to kind of get into that mindset more kind of uh, determined to finish it, what it, whatever it is that you do. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you feel empowered about yourself? Really knowing that I can do anything. Like it sounds so corny and so cheesy but like as people we, we don't really realize there's nothing really major kind of blocking you to do anything it's all really you blocking yourself anything and everything that's been made in this world someone thought of it first and then they made it so what's to say that like you can't achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve there's really no written formula to do it your own way that's one thing that makes me feel empowered by myself what advice would you give to your younger self? To my younger self? God. Don't party too much. Yeah, just have balance within everything. Um, because I personally, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time doing sh random shit that I could have spent that time doing things that would have helped me elevate. When you hear the phrase, the time is now, what does that mean to you? Do everything now. No, for real. That's where I'm at in, in my life uh, because I have a lot of projects that I want to do and I feel like I have to start them now. This is my opportunity to lay a foundation for everything that I can work up towards in the future. It's all about just doing it now and then reaping what you sow in the future. I guess that's what I get from that. Time is now.